I just did not like what I saw in the mirror. When you look good, you feel good. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a bit anxious at the moment. We're all allowed to have a moment of weakness. I'm like, am I not enough? Kisses. <laughs> she broke your heart. And ever since that day, boy, you ain't been the same, no. It's honestly so weird how it's not even bright out right now. It's so gloomy. Like I've just realized right now the fact that it's 7.30 and the sun isn't out yet and it's actually still pretty dark. That means there's gonna be a lot more darker hours, darker hours, less sunshine. It's gonna be harder to get out of bed in the morning because it's, you know, still dark out. <sighs> no, I don't like that. it's foggy outside I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really foggy. How cool. Here's mommy just checking up, making sure we're okay. We're good. Taking care of business here. We're, we're chilling, aren't we? Aren't we, my little boy? Okay, yep. He's, he responded with yes. You're getting heavy. Oh. Literally, I feel like my arm is gonna fall off. I'm not gonna lie like this one that he's resting on. But that's fine. It's okay. I actually enjoy holding him. It's a bit painful sometimes because he gets really heavy. Even though he's only like a month and a half, he's actually pretty, pretty heavy. Apparently he's heavier than the average baby at his age. So he's a little heavy one, which is good because it means he's growing. He's growing really big and strong. This is my Monday for you. I don't usually train on Mondays anymore. I used to. I haven't trained on a Monday in like a couple months now, I think. It's been a while. I don't remember the last time I went on a Monday. Which is really interesting. Because I used to go like pretty much six days a week. I could not not miss a day. But now I train four days a week. And I feel like it's actually pretty sustainable for me right now. Like it works well with my current schedule. Because on Mondays and Fridays, I tend to take care of my little a little nephew or like you know help my sister out and then tuesday wednesday thursday i train saturday i train sunday and like has been a rest day because i've honest i'm i can't be bothered on sundays to be honest it's kind of just a mental reset physical reset so yeah i just ended up dropping down my days accidentally to four days instead of going five six days a week i kind of love it i'm not gonna lie i've been able to go really hard on the days that i'm training especially on leg days i've been able to go Hard. I've been able to push heavy. Happy Monday. <laughs> He's so cute. I wish you, I, could, I wish I could show you guys his face, but I can't. I'm not allowed, okay? I would if I could. <laughs> but no. Gotta respect the privacy of his parents, of course. <laughs> He's so cute. Take my word for it and believe he's cute. Oh, I'm watching Gossip Girl at the moment. Oh, yep, he's waking up. <laughs> I'm so excited to be a mum someday. You guys have no idea. I cannot wait to be a mum. So this is the closest it's going to get for me at the moment. My little nephew is the closest I'm going to get to being a mum. So thank you for fulfilling that for me.
just at the moment so I'm trying to like journal down my thoughts because I'll be honest I think I would say maybe the past month or so I haven't been journaling to benefit me if that makes sense like I haven't actually put my deep dark thoughts onto paper and I've been avoiding confronting myself so it's just all catching up to me now and it's just making me anxious I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so I'm literally forcing myself to sit here and write everything well not everything because I feel like I can't get everything down at this moment but just getting down what is really getting to me the most but yeah I just pretend like I'm talking to myself like I'm having a conversation with myself and I kind of put things into different perspectives <laughs> it's kind of weird honestly but it always works for me it always makes me feel better at the end of it and then after I had like the little conversation with myself like that back and forth conversation I write down some affirmations as well after it I'm at peace with myself I release self-doubt and limiting beliefs I love who I am and I love who I'm becoming literally whatever affirmations you feel like resonate the most with you at that time write it down and I always feel so good after it honestly I feel like I've just released something within myself I feel like weight has lifted off my shoulders when I release those negative thoughts that I have yeah that's why I feel like journaling has really changed me in so many ways it's crazy how Writing down your thoughts could change you, but it honestly has for the best. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this because I feel like I'd go insane. I wouldn't be who I am today if I didn't journal, you know? <laughs> I don't know. If you get it, you get it. <laughs> okay, so I just put um, some SPF on and some light foundation. As you guys can tell, I don't have any more blemishes. <laughs> um, and I put like some lip gloss on. I'm just going to choose an outfit. I don't know what I feel like wearing today, honestly, it's just, I don't know. But I obviously want to dress cute because when you look good, you feel good. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know what to wear. What am I going to wear on the day? I don't know what to wear. Kisses. Outfit of the day. I'm trying to figure out which exposure looks this the best. This is the hacks. Do you want me to stand there? Yes, yes. Camera test. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I went up. I, I went up at the speed I thought you'd go. <laughs> you stood up without me. <laughs> finished up at the gym and I have myself a GYG that my friend bought me and do it like a chick it's dead ass cold right now but I'm still eat it I don't know if you can eat cold chicken some people say you shouldn't but I'm gonna eat it anyways and there's someone walking past and I really don't want to make eye contact right now so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna look away okay we're good it looks like a hot mess first of all it's cold second of all it looks like mush thank you to my friend for sponsoring this burrito bowl I did wash my hands, but just to be safe. Because I'm going to touch the corn chips. Oh, man, look, the chips are <laughs> so soggy right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's so soggy. I'm like at the park right now, and it's really empty, actually, surprisingly. There's no kids at all. I mean, <laughs> I sound so creepy. There's no kids at all. Like, I want to see some kids in action. That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was such an off day for me I'll be honest and say I'm like all over the place right now but I'm a bit fried since I went to the gym I'm always so fried after the gym I was ha having like um, an acne flare-up I did pop the two pimples that flared up yesterday it was really cystic and very painful pimples I had a very low self-esteem day yesterday I just felt I just did not like what I saw in the mirror specifically my face and then the next thing was I was kind of just spiraling in terms of like my thoughts I was just like what am I doing in my life I don't know like what's my purpose I just felt lost <sighs> I was just like what is happening like I honestly haven't had one of those days in ages <laughs> but my sister had to talk me through it I'm so glad that she did because she kind of just brought me back you know she reminded me that I've 
come so far already um, I may not be where I want to be exactly in terms of success what matters is where I'm at right now and appreciating how far I've come um, in terms of my personal growth and you know career growth <laughs> with my career growth as well so I was just like yeah you're right I guess you're right like I'm just like yeah Oh my god, I need a bite. I'm just like, what's the plot? I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god. Oh, I screenshotted a whole bunch of like Pinterest quotes just to bring me back when I'm having, you know, those doubts and worries about where I'm headed or where I am at currently. You're on no one's journey but your own. Pace yourself and live your life the way that you want to. Don't let someone else's idea of success make you feel like you've chosen the wrong path. Your journey may look different to everyone else's, but it's yours. Because, like, honestly, I feel like yesterday I was thinking about, like, why am I not here yet? I've been at it for so long. I've been creating content for two years. And I was thinking to myself, like, why am I not where I want to be yet? And, like, am I not enough? Like, why am I not getting more? You know, I was just kind of like, oh, I'm over it now. I just had a, a moment of weakness. I allowed myself to have a moment of weakness, which is okay. We're all allowed to have a moment of weakness. In the back of my mind, I'm not sure where this is all going. I'm just filming and creating content because I just feel like that's just become a part of my life now. And yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. Like, where, what am I, like, what is my plan? What is my future with this? Like, is there a future with this, you know, thing that I'm doing? <laughs> Everyone's just doing life. There's no right or wrong way to live life. I just have to believe in myself and have faith that what I'm doing right now is going to benefit me in the long run. So yeah, I'm just keep continuing doing what I'm doing and just hope for the best, <laughs> really. <laughs> have faith. <laughs> Aside from that, life is pretty good. I have a good solid support system, which is you guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, honestly. Like, I want to thank you for even just watching my videos. That's enough support as it is because it makes me feel like I am loved I guess in a way it makes me feel like what I am doing is important and is relevant because people are watching my stuff so thank you thank you for watching my videos I'm still hungry but enough of that. yes <laughs> I feel like this is the most confident I have been as of lately with my face simply because I'm covering my blemishes and my current acne flare-ups with some spot treatment and I'm like wow this kind of benefits me because one it's drying up my acne and two I don't need to put makeup on to cover up the blemishes I feel like I look better like this I'm literally gonna go to the grocery and pick up some things looking like this because because I can because I want to I <laughs> I don't know I just prefer this look right now making it a thing you know just to not care that people are gonna look at me weird because I got these spot treatment things on my face we're not gonna care because like I mean it's my face anyways like I'm in a weird mood um yes life's great yes I look like a potato right now like, should I wear these sunnies just so no one can recognize me when I go to the shops no actually I will look even worse when I rock up at the shops with sunnies on and the stuff on my face I'm gonna just own it and just rock up like this it's fine honestly I don't care at the end of the day like honestly I know I'm gonna get looks but it is what it is I'm just trying to treat my face right now okay I'll be honest like I've been applying powder on my face pretty much every gym session and it has not been good on my face at all I feel like I'm making it worse and making my breakouts flare up even more <laughs> I'm guilty of that I'm sorry I am I don't know I just feel bad about myself when I see my skin so I was like all right I'ma just cover it up I can't do it I honestly can't like I don't want to rock up at the gym feeling bad about myself so I'd rather just cover it up and suffer the consequences I guess <laughs> uh. pardon me so I ended up buying myself some chocolate because I've been craving chocolate for the last few days. So I was like, let me just pick up what I'm craving, obviously. Um, I like this brand. It's like my top two. 
<laughs> I don't want to say it's my favorite because I also like lint, but this is definitely top two. So I got the Whittaker's peanut butter and jelly. I love peanut butter and jelly, so why not try it in chocolate form? Ooh, it's a bit soft. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, hey. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, I'm a bit confused. I think the other half of the chocolate bar is jelly then this top half is peanut butter because i cannot taste any any jelly like at all you guys can't see it but it's just peanut butter i thought it was gonna be half of the little chocolate block was gonna be peanut butter and the other half was jelly not was in this half is jelly and the other half is peanut butter that's just weird oh I love peanut butter, so this is delicious. Anyways, yeah, I walked into the shops. So there was actually people staring at me, but then I also didn't care at the same time, so um, mission accomplished. I actually walked out looking like this. That's something new that you don't see every day, which is fair enough. That's why people were staring, because like, I've never seen anyone walk out looking like this, you know, in public. <laughs> time is all the ass sons. I hope they're not looking at me. Okay, I, I should end this. Like, I should really just end this right now. Hi. Oh my goodness, please. I, I hope and pray that my pimples will.